Okay, everyone, welcome to an episode. It's six o'clock in the morning. Just got the boat all packed up, ready to go. Heading to Michigan right now. Gonna do some smallie fishing and then possibly on the way back go to Erie. So there we are, let's go ahead and get on the road. So just in here in Bass Pro right now, uh, we're gonna pick up Dad a, a life jacket. He just got us Mustang right here. It's on sale for 129 on the website, so it's like 154. So he just had like one of these. Decided it's time to get a inflatable. They're, they're just a little bit nicer, a little bit more comfortable. So now we just gotta go get some line and we'll be back on the road. Yeah. You just can get that one for right now though. Where's the catch right here in front of you? take that off, so that's all arrow says uh the first one. It's worth eleven dollars. Yeah. I think that's the best looking truck right there. That'd be a Chevy right there. I just don't like these wheel wells. You gonna put your stuff back on or you gonna leave it in the truck? Just leave it in the truck. Alright, All right, just got out of Bass Pro. Got a few tubes. Can't go up to Michigan without tubes. Some line. And Dad got an inflatable. So hopefully this will be the last stop. We should be in Michigan. Ready to fish in about an hour and a half. That's a merge. There you go. In 17 miles, take Wait. exit 231 on the left onto MI3 and Gresham Avenue. It's really weird how you have to you exit on the lefts here. Alright, so it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. We are in the middle of Lake St. Clair Shoals right now. Uh, it's just, a, I guess, one of the major cities around around the mile roads. Uh, we're just getting some gas. We got a few things to do before we can go fishing. Uh, you need to gas up the boat, need to gas up, need to gas up the truck, and uh, get some oil and some fishing license, and we'll be fishing here shortly. So hopefully we can go out and whack some smallies tonight, and we got four more days of it. Okay, everyone, out here. It's taking a while to get going, but we are pretty close to getting ready to get on the water. Uh, we had to do a little few things because uh, I didn't really take care of some stuff back home But we had to go get some oil had to get some fishing license and uh, you know I could have done that back home, but uh, I was pretty busy the past few days, so that's why it's been taking a while I think it's like it's 311 right now, so uh, we're just gonna go out We'll probably be on the water around 330 and be fishing so we'll have a decent afternoon bite I guess uh, But yeah, it's just always good just to take your time, you know get stuff set up 
and uh, get everything in line. That way, you know, the rest of the trip will go pretty smoothly. So that's about it. We're down here though, ready to go fish. Actually, there's a, like a canal right over here by this marine where we just got our oil at, uh, which looks pretty good. So I'm ready to go out there and catch some fish. So that's about it. We're gonna go ahead and pack up and head to the ramp and be on the water shortly. trying to find some fish. Fishing is definitely tough right now in St. Clair. But uh, just caught my first one of the day. Go ahead and get it. He's not a bad one. Not, not a giant, but not bad. About 15 inch small. Nothing giant, like I said, but hopefully or just find, come across the school or something. Right now we're just in search of them, so there he is. All right, everyone, let me actually turn the motor off. And uh, the fishing is just terrible. I've, I've never seen this Lake St. Clair this bad. And uh, I know, we're just seeing bass boats run in, put the boat, like put it, load up and everything. We've been talking to a few guys. The fishing's terrible, that's just the, the, the rundown on it. So uh, we were planning on going to East Harbor on Lake Erie. Uh, after tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and back up. Hopefully you can hear me, but uh, we're planning on going to, to East Harbor there tomorrow, but we're just gonna go ahead and run in. You know, we're just up here for fun. We're, we're not really, you know, up here for anything except just to catch fish. So if they're not biting, there's no sense in wasting the day and just beating our brains in. And let's just go ahead and head over to East Harbor and catch some fish hopefully. So. That's basically the rundown. Sorry for the lack of footage, but hopefully we'll make up for it at uh, Erie. So thank you guys for watching. We're gonna go put the boat on trailer. Day one of Lake St. Clair is in the books. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm kinda glad we're off the lake. Uh, it was, a, it was that was probably the roughest day I've ever been on a boat before. Uh, there's just, it wasn't really windy. There was just a ton of boat traffic. It's, I've never been on this lake when I've seen that many boats and there was just so much cross wakes. And I know we hit some six, six foot wakes and I don't know, it was just a rough day. We couldn't really move around a lot to, uh, to find fish. Uh, we fished some spots in the past. I think we ended up catching two fish. Uh, I, caught, I showed you the bigger one, and I caught like a two-pounder as well. But uh, you know, the main reason I think we didn't, we kind of struggled, was a that we had there was so much boat hit traffic, and uh, b we just couldn't move around. Like I said, because every time we went to to move, it'd just be really, really rough and uh, hard on the boat and hard on us. Really, my back is killing me right now. So, with that said, tomorrow's Monday, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the hotel and uh, go get something to eat and then hit the hay, go to bed. Uh, but that, that should be it for today. So uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, tomorrow will be day two. All right, everyone, got the bird all tucked away for the night, got it on charge, just got everything set up, had Qdoba for dinner. Uh, we're pretty much done for the night. Uh, again, I would like to apologize even though today was kind of more of a travel vlog, I'd still like to apologize for like the lack of footage once we got in the water. About almost 10 o'clock, got everything situated. I will see you guys in the morning for day number two.